Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alma Sena and I am a part-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kittison, and Depop. But my main platforms, I would say, are eBay and Poshmark. Anyway, I wanna say thank you again for my new subscribers. Um, I am newer to YouTube, so I'm super excited for all those that are joining me. Um, I as that is the way I learned uh, from watching other YouTubers content. And I hope that my videos are helpful to you guys as well. But yeah, please give me a like and subscribe and then share my um, channel with others. I would truly appreciate that because I want to continue making these kind of videos for you guys. And anyway, today is going to be a shorter haul as yes, Friday, which was yesterday, um, the third, I believe. Anyway, that's usually my sourcing day, but I had a couple of things that came up that um, I couldn't do much sourcing. I only had about two and a half hours to go sourcing. So my haul is going to be smaller, but I at least I have enough, I think, for a shorter video. So let's begin. And yeah, I have a couple of exciting finds, I think. And I'm going to share with you guys those at the end. Um, my I'll start with clothing. My average sale price is normally, I mean, my average purchasing price is normally about $5. And I do source, I have a couple of local honey holes and on Fridays and Saturdays, they usually have half off. But for uh, reasons, I for certain reasons, I can only really go on Fridays. Okay, so let's begin. And I am going to start with an exciting find. I know you guys have probably heard of Obermeyer suits this is the child's one and obermeyer but i picked it up because here let me show you this this is what the tag looks like obermeyer it's a size three but it was new new with tags and uh the msrp was 139 dollars and this was i did pay up ten dollars for this one this is probably the most expensive purchase but again, I could probably get $70, I would say. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but Obermeyer is a great brand. I've sold adults like one-piece suits. And goodness, I have re I have gotten like $100 to $120 on those. I think I've sold two others. So if you ever see like the one-piece ski suits, get them because they are super amazing. Overalls is also something I love to pick up. It really doesn't matter the brand. This is a Liberty. It was new with tags. Um, and it's a pretty good size. It's a for, men's 4232. But overalls, especially like the Carhartts, are really good. And I think this one being new with tags, I can get about $30 to $40 for it. So again, doesn't really matter the brand. But again, I picked it up because it's new with tags. The next is a crushed velvet, like a two-piece uh, tracksuit. Let me see. Two-piece tracksuit. It's got a little bit of bling on the behind, BCBG. I think that's Max Azria, is it? Yeah, Max Azria, BCBG. And it's the crushed velvet, these two pieces. Um, the top is medium and the bottoms are large, but I'm still going to lot them up together. And these were... Again, my average cost was about $5 per um, item today. So yeah, these kind of pieces, and, and I'll put in my title like Y2K, that really uh, grabs the attention. People looking for this kind of uh, clothing, but I have sold the track suits before, so I knew that that was a, a good pickup. The next, I don't know, I couldn't find uh, this brand anywhere. Have you guys heard of this? Sensor. But anyway, it's like this huge jacket. I don't know if it's a male or female coat, but why I got it, um, it's because the material content, what did it say? It was like down, 70% down and then 30% feathers. But I haven't, but again, for five bucks, I know I can definitely make my money back on this coat but it, i can't believe i couldn't find any thing like with this brand sensors 
it's a large so i'm assuming i don't know it could be either way i may list it as unisex but yeah it was um about five bucks and again if it wasn't down i probably wouldn't have picked it up um let's see and yesterday like i said i kind of felt pressured because i had so little time to thrift j crew this is a j crew like little coat i think this one was pretty cheap it was like two dollars and fifty cents it's a small it's my size but i'm gonna list it i don't need um i don't need another little like shirt jacket or whatnot it, although it would be cute with like some jeans and some little booties um but i'm gonna go ahead and list that i would say like 15 and 20 dollars uh let's see and when you're like you feel like you're pressured and you don't have that much time i feel like the source do you skip over a lot of things because you just want to rush and get through the items so you can go into your next store before they close but uh this is also you recognize that brand carhartt this is a regular cotton tee men's large i like the uh, letters on the sleeve this was super cheap as well this was two dollars and fifty cents again i could probably list it for like 25 dollars or so and again it's a men's large cotton tee obviously carhartt the overalls like i said earlier sell amazing and the um overalls the overalls and the jacket sell amazing so yeah always look out for carhartt don't pass that up and the more distress the better i think i did find this for me for work I, i'm always on the hunt for clothing for me for work this is just a little black shirt it's from bisu 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 i don't know how you pronounce that but this is a size eight it looks kind of small so i think it's going to fit me so yeah this is just for me for work um almost done here again it was pretty slim pickings because i was in a rush again another bcbg max azria piece this is uh new with tags it's like a little button uh button down sweater and again what made me get it was it was new with tags this was also like five dollars and you could remove the detach the collar from this i think you can see that yeah it's a removable collar if it was my size i would have probably kept it but again bc Mat bcbg max azria is not like a brand um I always pick up or anything like that but again those couple of factors me being in a hurry and um being new with tags and that's and so that that's what kind of made me or like made my decision on getting that brand Let's open up the window it's kind of in my room and this is the best lighting so i hope it's okay for you guys i hope the video is not too dark let's go on to my accessories and my shoes got this pretty little uh scarf i like the print it's kind of like the nova check it reminds me of like the burberry but this was only 50 cents and i believe it was let me see what it says here on the tag cash mink made in germany 100 percent acrylic there you go so for 50 cents definitely gonna grab it i sold scarves for like with this cashmere material for about 20 to 25 dollars the next one also reminded me of like that Burberry, the Nova check. So this is a green scarf and you always want to like put it up against the light to make sure it's got no holes, especially if it's like wool or cashmere. So like right now I'm putting it up to the light. It doesn't have any holes or anything like that. And it did have a brand on here. What was it? It's kind of hard to see, but brand is, um, cashmere as well i don't think you could see that cashmere so yeah for again 50 cents i'll take it a list each each of those scarves for uh 25 dollars now let's get into my shoe haul here we go this is kind of an exciting brand brand and i've found these in the past before they're on cloud running shoes they're a little bit dirty and i think i found this exact color before as well so this is a bolo lookout for these guys they sell pretty they sell pretty fast in my store so on cloud these are a size eight women's um i may have to try them out for a little bit and then post them and let's see what else oh this is a good brand this is a men's um it's ellen edmonds 
But those shoes almost look new. They were $3.99. And I looked at the comps and they were about $60. So and obviously if they were beat up, I would not have gotten them. But they almost look new. So men's dress shoes, don't sleep on them. Always do your comps on them. It's got the little like pit loafer as well. So absolutely, I was actually excited to find these. Men's shoes, like if they're in good condition, I don't hesitate to pick them up. But this brand, I've heard before that it was pretty good. And I did look up the comps. Oh, let me see this one. This, you probably recognize that brand, a little logo. It's area, little meal clogs. These are five bucks, as you can see right there. Pretty good condition. The bottoms look good. Hardly any scuffs. But I'm going to go ahead and hit them up with some Wonder Balsam. And I don't, I know the boots of uh, from Ariat sell amazing. I'm not sure how this meals go, do, but as far as paying $5 for them, definitely, again, a no-brainer. I will pick those up any day, any day and all day. This is a old baby for me for work. Nothing special. With some leggings and some boots. And I think this was only like $2.50. So that's in my pile there. Okay. Let me see what else. Let me just empty out my little shoe bag here. Almost to the end, but actually, yeah. This is gonna be a pretty good haul. Um, where is the other shoe? Okay, but I guess not. All right, let's go with these dance goes. I slowed down on picking up dance goes. These were $10, but half off. But look at these are in pristine condition. Remember, always do the dry rot test where you kind of like twist and bend the um, soles because they do, they do get that dry rot out. But look at these. These are beautiful for $5, absolutely. But I have slowed down. If they're in pristine condition like this, I will pick them up. But if they're too beat up, I will leave those behind. Um, anyway, these are L.L. Bean Chukka Boots. This is the other one I can't find. It's probably in my car. These were $12, but $6 after the half off. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. Maybe it was. I don't know. But L.L. Bean, I don't pick up everything L.L. Bean. Um, I know like the duck boots sell really well, but I don't know about these Chukka Boots. Um, I got to go for the other one still. Oh, no, actually, it's right here. But it's okay. You know, I don't know, 30 40 bucks maybe. Let's, uh, I'm gonna clean them up a little bit and then list those. The next, you guys know this brand is Keen. They, the bottom looked in excellent condition. I don't think they were even ever worn. They've just been in somebody's closet. But Keen is a great brand. These are women's, women's nine. So, that's probably not the best style to get from Keen, but hey, I think these are only like $2.50. Now the two best pairs for last, these are Hoka. These are a men's size nine. These are amazing. Look at the soles. I'm gonna clean those up. I personally have some Hokas. This is the one shoe that I will spend money on. I did pay full price for mine, but I'm telling you guys, after using the hokas i don't think i'll ever use another running shoe but these are pretty cool and i think i can get 60 well maybe 70 to 90 dollars on these but hoka one one look out for this brand it is really really good even in beat up condition and without insoles i've sold them in the past so really good brand you guys and the last one that i was excited about were these birkenstocks these are absolutely beautiful um and i can't they're a size 38 so a lady seven and a men's five i think they're the boston i sold these exact pair for, for 90 dollars. so this alone is gonna pay for my entire haul i really don't think they were hardly ever used and they're made in germany they're like the wool i want to say like they're the wool so super excited you guys this is a bowl of these sell better than the arizona's so they are the Boston ones. So super excited. Uh, so the last, yeah, the last two pair were my favorite pair that I found. Well, that's it. Um, this video wasn't too long, but at least I got to enough to make a small haul for you guys today. 
Tomorrow I'm gonna to come up with my out with my what sold video, which I have it pretty exciting, like my highest sale ever on that video. That's gonna be let out to I'm gonna release it tomorrow. But again, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Again, my name is Alma. And please like and subscribe and share the video. And we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.